You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to discuss Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Coming out this Friday, and this is a, a movie that's had a lot of people kind of on the fence. <laughs> you know, some people are very excited about it. Some people have no interest. Some people are kind of like, eh, I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely one of those I don't know people. I mean, um, I'm a, I love turtles. I grew up watching turtles. Uh, I love their first movies back in the day, uh, with, you know, the guys in the suits and, you know, but uh, this movie, um, you know, I, I try to pass judgment before I see, you know, to for when I see a movie, I try not to pass judgment beforehand. Um, you know, definitely looks action packed, uh, definitely looks like it's going to entertain from that standpoint. The turtles are definitely a lot different than uh, I expected in terms of how they look. Uh, so, you know, they, they, it's a very, very conflicted feeling because in on one hand they, they look pretty decent, on the other hand they're huge, they're huge, and you know the original turtles were not even taller than April O'Neil, so it's just I'm sitting there thinking to myself I have a hard time believing that these huge monster turtles can be so finesse and so agile, and be ninjas when being when looking like they're about six foot five and weigh about three hundred and fifty pounds, four hundred pounds. So, I mean, we'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, you know, I saw a couple of the trailers. I saw a shot of Splinter. Uh, Splinter looks fine. I don't really have any complaints about how Splinter looks. Shredder, on the other hand, uh, you know, while the outfit looks pretty cool, there's that scene in one of the trailers where he splits up and he's got, like, knives all over the place. And it's like, I remember when I saw the trailer and I did my review, I said that he looked like a food processor. Because there's just knives all over the place. You just chuck a couple of fruits and vegetables at that dude and, you know, he'll julienne them and cut them up for you. I mean, it's just like, yeah, I know he's the shredder, but we don't have to quite take that literally. So, but, you know, again, that's just one scene. We don't know how it plays out the rest of the movie. Uh, and it could be perfectly fine. So we'll see. Uh, I, you know, I'm still, I'm probably going to check it out Friday. But there is another movie I wanted to check out that's coming out Friday, which is Into the Storm. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I, I'm i definitely going to check out the reviews because we'll see them this week. Uh, I'm sure they'll be popping up in a couple of days, if not tomorrow. And, um, and you know, I, I maybe I'll let the, the, the reviews inf influence me. You know, if one movie gets a better review over the other, then I might go check that one out. Uh, or I might just check out both. But in terms of Turtles, I'm, I'm definitely kind of, I think Curiosity is going to get the best of me and I'm going to end up seeing it. And, um, you know, if it's, uh, if it's anything like Transformers, I'll enjoy the action, probably. Uh, anything else, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'll definitely be honest about it when I discuss it in my review. But, um, you know, yeah, I, I think uh, it's, it, I think it's going to be a hit and miss. I think it's, it's going to either do very well and hit on all cylinders or it's going to turn a lot of people off. Uh, you know, recently, um, Megan Fox... Pretty much sent every uh, critic to her to uh, to hell, especially the uh, fan base who've been complaining about it and criticizing it. And you know what? Good on her. I mean, there, there is a lot of complaining about little things and and stuff like that. And uh, on the internet, you can't control that. People are going to talk what they talk. You know, ninety five percent of the people on the internet who say the things they say would never say it to your face anyway. So it's like whatever. But uh, you know, good on her. I mean, she's she's standing up for what she's doing. And uh, she <laughs> she put the proof in the pudding. I think one of her comments were, look at what Transformers did uh, in the box office. And then uh, was like, that's all I have to say about that. So you can go fuck off. That was pretty much what she said. So, um, yeah, and numbers don't lie. And, and that's pretty much what talks is numbers. So, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see with Turtles. I mean, it, it looks, uh, you know, it looks like it's, it's going to be action packed. That's one thing's for sure. I'm still not a fan of the Foot Clan having guns. Uh, I know a lot of people argued that they had lasers um, before, and that's fine. But, um, you know, when talking about the cinema, you know, the first set of uh, turtle movies, they did not have guns. They fought martial arts. They used martial arts. They battled the tur turtles using martial arts. 
uh, not, you know, AK-47s and fucking M-16s and shit. So, but we'll see how that plays out too, you know? Maybe the Turtles will pull out a couple of guns and, and, and have a throw to, I don't know, that would be crazy. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Got to see the movie first before we pass judgment. So um, I will, I'm leaning towards checking it out. I'm going to check out the reviews and, and um, maybe let that de maybe decide for a change. Uh, or I'll just ignore them all together and go see it. I'll probably go see it. Just curiosity is getting the best of me. So, And I am a Turtles fan. I do like the Turtles. So maybe I'll just go check it out. Maybe I'll do a double header at the theaters and watch that and Into the Storm and then see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's it. So what do you think? Are you going to go check out Turtles? Are you excited about it? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be crap? Do you think it looks like crap? Uh, what is it about it that turns you off? What is it about it that turns you on? This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.